everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here today. For today's lesson, I want to take a look at some color idioms, okay? And this is Color Idioms Part 2. So if you haven't watched Color Idioms Part 1 yet, please don't forget to check that one out as well, okay? So for this lesson, we're going to take a look at eight color idioms and many examples, okay? So let's see if we can get started. So the first one there says, in the red. And the definition is to owe money or to be in debt, right? Okay, usually with this expression, I think about a company, right? If a company is in the red, this means they are not making any money, okay? And in fact, they owe money to the bank, right? So they are in debt to the bank. So this company is in the red. Okay, I can also think about myself, right? If I have no money in my bank account, okay, and actually my bank account has less than zero dollars, so again, I owe money to the bank, then we can say my bank account is in the red, or I am in the red, okay? All right, next one says to show one's true colors. And it says here to reveal one's real character or show what one is really like. Okay, all right, so if you show your true colors, it means that you show the real you, right? And in a lot of cases, this means you show the negative parts about yourself, right? So think about a man and a woman. When they first start dating, right, or when any two people first start dating, you always want to show the best part about yourself, right? You want to show your good looks, you want to show how nice and friendly you are, you want to show how smart you are, right? So you want to show your best self. But maybe after three months or six months or a year later, you start to show your real self maybe, right? Maybe your bad habits or maybe, maybe you don't like pets, right? And so this is showing your true colors, right? So again, you're revealing the true you to another person. And a lot of times that includes negative things, right? Okay, next one says, until one is blue in the face. And it says here, to waste one's efforts because you'll get no results, okay? All right, think about this example. Imagine a couple, right? Again, a man and a woman perhaps, they are talking about having kids, right? Starting a family. Okay, now one person really wants to have kids, but the other person, they don't really want to have kids, right? And both people are very strong in their beliefs, right? They're really strong in these opinions, okay? So they could discuss having kids for a long, long time, but they're not going to get any results, right? Each person will not change their opinion. Okay, so we can say they could discuss this issue or talk about this issue until they are blue in the face, but they will not get any different results, right? Nothing will change, right? So again, this is a waste of time having this discussion again and again, right? They could talk about it forever and ever, right? Again, until they are blue in the face, but nothing will change, right? So that's how we use that one. Okay, next one here says green thumb, and it says there to have a talent for gardening. Okay, this one's pretty simple. If my mother has a green thumb, it just means she's very talented at gardening or she has a skill for gardening, right? And remember, gardening is just working with plants and flowers and helping them to grow, right? Okay, next one says paint the town red and it says there to go party and have a good time. Okay, usually this is something pretty big, right? You went to a big party, you had a big night, right? Okay, so if I went out last night with some friends and we went out to a restaurant and maybe then we went and had some drinks like a bottle of wine and we had a big night, I can say my friends and I painted the town red last night, okay? If my friends and I went to a cafe and had a cup of coffee and had a conversation, this is not painting the town red, okay? It has to be a big night full of lots of excitement, lots of fun, maybe even a few crazy things happen, right? Okay, so that is painting the town red. 
Okay, next one says out of the blue, and it says they're without warning or unexpectedly. Okay, imagine I had a friend in high school, but I have not spoken with this friend since high school, okay? It's been a long time, many years since I spoke to this friend. Okay, but imagine my phone is ringing and I answer the phone, Oh my gosh, it's this friend from high school, right? I haven't spoken to this friend for so long, okay? So I can say, my old friend from high school called me out of the blue, right? So this friend called me sort of without warning or unexpectedly, right? Sort of all of a sudden. I didn't know this friend was gonna call, right? So they called me out of the blue, right? I wasn't expecting it, okay? All right, couple more. Next one says, tell a white lie. And it says there, a harmless lie that is told to avoid hurting someone's feelings. Okay, this one's pretty simple. Imagine, my friend has a new shirt and she loves this new shirt. It's her favorite shirt, she loves it. Okay, now she asks me, what's your opinion about my shirt, right? Do you like my shirt? Okay, well the truth is, I don't like it. Okay, I think it's an ugly shirt, but, this is going to hurt my friend's feelings. So instead, I will tell a white lie, right? Remember, that's a harmless lie. So I say, yeah, it's a nice shirt, right? That's my answer. So again, this is just a white lie, and I said it to not hurt this person's feelings. So it's not a big lie, it's not a really important lie, it's just a small, harmless lie, okay? All right, last one here. This is kind of a fun expression. It says to brown bag it, okay? And this is a very casual, sort of fun expression. And it says here to pack a lunch to school or to work, okay? So if I'm brown bagging it today, it just means I made a lunch at home and I brought it to school or I brought it to work, right? So I'm not gonna go buy my lunch in the cafeteria or go to a restaurant or even buy my lunch maybe at a little deli, no. I brought a lunch with me to work or to school, so I'm brown bagging it, right? Okay. All right, I wanna see if we can erase the whiteboard and let's take a look at some written examples using each of these color idioms. Okay then, let's look at some of these examples here. So the first one says, that company has been in the red all year, right? So they've been losing money all year, okay? Next one, she was so nice at first, but recently she started to show her true colors, right? So maybe some of her bad habits or her negative parts are starting to show now, right? Okay, next one, we could discuss this until we're blue in the face, but it's clear we'll never agree, right? So again, that means this conversation is sort of pointless, right? Because we're not gonna get any kind of agreement, right? So it's kind of a waste of our efforts. Okay, next one, my grandma loves gardening. She has a green thumb, right? So she's talented at gardening. We totally painted the town red last night. What a blast, right? So we had a big fun night last night, right? What a blast, right? Remember, what a blast means what a good time, right? Okay, next one, my ex-girlfriend called me out of the blue yesterday. I hadn't spoken to her in over a year, right? So just suddenly, unexpectedly, my ex-girlfriend called me, right? So this was out of the blue. Okay, a few more here. When my girlfriend asked what I thought of her cooking, I told a white lie and said it was delicious. Really, it was awful, right? So again, this was a harmless little lie. I didn't wanna hurt her feelings and tell her that her cooking was terrible, so I just said it was delicious, right? So that's a white lie. Okay, and last one. You want to go have lunch at that sushi place today, Sorry, not today, I'm brown bagging it, right? So this means I brought a lunch from home, okay? All right, that is the end of today's lesson. I hope these examples were easy to follow. Thank you so much for joining me at Maple Leaf ESL and I look forward to seeing you again next time.